It's time to forgive yourself, to let go of all your mistakes in the past, to truly release all of the resentment that you hold towards yourself because you didn't follow through on your promises, on all the times that you decided you were gonna pursue something, create something or try something and you gave up or you chickened out. It's okay, we all do, but hanging on to it, judging yourself, getting in your own way as a result of what you did in the past only extends the suffering further. You can put an end to this loop. You can build momentum. You can make it so that you can rely on your own word, that when you say you're gonna do something, you do it and you follow through and you're consistent. It's all possible and it's all available to you right now. But not so long as you keep holding on to the pain and focusing on all the things that you've done wrong. Your attention is too precious. Your time and your energy is limited and you're gonna run out eventually. What you're going to regret is not having pursued your goals with your whole heart, all of your effort, really following what you feel is most important and putting your energy into those things. Because what? You failed a couple of times, you aren't as reliable as you like to be, or maybe people have said that there's something lacking in your personality. None of that is a good enough reason to really play defense, to get into a mode of scarcity where you start looking at everything thinking, oh, you can't do that, you're not ready, you don't have the time, you don't have the money, you don't have the energy. You can create all of those things. You can get into a state where everything feels possible, but it demands you to release the ghosts and demons of your past. Any kind of self-resentment that you hold or any kind of tension, pain, any negative feelings towards yourself, they have to truly be let go of in order to open up space. Have you ever felt regret and happiness at the same time? Or how about a mix of resentment, but also excitement towards the future? They usually don't go together. They're not really friends. And if you want one, you're likely going to have to let go of the other. And you might say it's not that easy. And that's because it's become part of your identity. You really believe that this is who you are because you did these things. And you know, I understand where you're coming from because all those votes, all of that evidence that you've got stacked up against you that says you are this type of person. This is what's wrong with you. This is why you can't have what you want. In all reality, of course, that isn't true. Foundationally, at the core of your being, you are present. You have the ability to switch your attention and energy into any state and form. But we get sucked in and we start believing our own BS. And before you know it, those limiting beliefs are running our lives. It's about recognizing your pattern and to understand why you feel and think the way that you do. To gain a little bit of awareness and perspective, to step back, to zoom out and really look at things from a bird's eye view. Ask yourself, can I forgive myself for all of my mistakes? Can I truly let it go? And if not, why? What's the reason that I'm still holding on? Why am I getting in my own way? It might be uncomfortable and unpleasant at first, but if you don't dig out the truth, if you don't find the core root issue behind your symptoms, then we can't really progress. We're stuck in an endless loop. And as uncomfortable as it might be, it is well worth it. Because what is the alternative? Judging yourself, criticizing yourself, feeling bad about what you've done in the past, that isn't constructive. That doesn't help anybody and especially not you. I remember the moment that I sat down and wrote, I forgive myself for and listed all the things that I felt I had ever done wrong that would come to my mind. Wow. What an experience to really relieve and alleviate tension and pressure, to let go. And if you want to take it a step further, if you write it on a piece of paper, burn that thing because you really need to symbolize to yourself that you're ready to let go. Maybe you have a different way of doing it. Even if you write it as a digital note, afterwards delete it and make sure it's out of the trash bin as well, never to be seen again. 
it's really about in some way crystallizing and showing to yourself that I am releasing this stuff. I'm not going to cling on to the story anymore. I'm not going to hold my own mistakes against my future and really handicap my potential and ability to perform and improve over time when really I could do so much better if I allowed myself, right? Allowed myself to do better. That's what it comes down to. It's really terrorizing yourself judging yourself and punishing yourself most of all for your own regrets the benefit being that you get to feel bad and if that's what you really want and you would like to continue with it by all means go ahead but maybe enough is enough and to what level or degree you're doing this isn't really that important the fact is you probably have and if you take this moment to decide to actually practice and try letting go then so much in your life can be better feel lighter feel easier why not right there's only upside that's why i want you to try it i want you to experience it i know the positive impact that it can make in your life and the chain of events that could potentially unfold as a result as well now if you want to go even deeper if you want to dive into that inner work and release your trauma to really help you become your best self to perform at a higher level than you ever thought imaginable and to make the quality of your life your day-to-day -day happiness much better too then i invite you to jump on a one-on-one -on -one call with me all you got to do is click the link in the description it's eraphael.com you go over there you'll be able to book a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me we'll talk see if we're a good fit and if so i could be holding you accountable every week helping you work through the worst parts of your psychology improving the way that you think changing your habits every part of your life will start to improve and get better and i think it would be an incredible experience for you if you're interested again the link is in the description regardless if you take advantage of that or not I hope that you have enjoyed this, that this was helpful to you and that you apply it in your life because letting go of all your regrets, releasing yourself from the shackles of really feeling like you've done something wrong, feeling like you're not good enough, it's going to make your life so much easier and so much more fun and enjoyable too.